Okay, so your friend is addicted to coffee and you wanna buy a present for them. What kind of coffee stuff can you get for them? Well, depending on your budget, their personality, and what kind of coffee they like, there are a bunch of options. So let's get into it. Let me start off with the biggest tips for buying coffee beans for somebody who's really into coffee. Now don't go and find something with a really nice package with some pre-ground beans inside for somebody who likes coffee. That would be like buying a random album for somebody who likes music. They're just not gonna appreciate it and that would be a real shame. That's why I'm always really careful about buying coffee beans for people who love coffee. Coffee lovers are a picky bunch. If you want to buy coffee for someone with the lowest possible risk of them not liking it, here are some rules to stick by. If there are speciality cafes in your local area, try and find some coffee with a roasted on date within a week of when you will gift them the coffee. Freshness is super important for coffee lovers and make sure if they have a grinder at home, you should buy them whole beans, not pre-ground. Next, you'll want to look for light or medium roast coffee, not dark, unless you know that person loves dark roasted coffee. If you know what kind of coffee your friend likes, you could always buy them their favorite coffee again, but since they would probably buy it themselves, it might be worth going to the same cafe and buying a slightly different variety of coffee beans. If you don't know much about coffee preparation methods or coffee beans, take a look in the description or the video up here if you wanna see a video I made about all of these different things that completely explains it for beginners. Warning, do not buy flavored coffee for people as a gift. While some people may enjoy flavored coffees, it's much more likely that it won't be enjoyed or even used if it has flavorings. I personally wouldn't put flavored coffees through either my espresso machine or my mocha pot because I'd be worried with the oils they use for flavorings messing with the machine. If you just wanna pick up some coffee beans online, I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you wanna get something that's a little bit nicer than just a bag of coffee, let's do a breakdown by price of different things you can get people as a present. Links for everything will be in the description below. For somebody who likes coffee and is just starting to get into speciality coffee and doesn't yet have a grinder, that's the first place I would go. There are a lot of options at this range, but the first one that I got was a Hario hand grinder. Now this is a really great piece of kit. It's small, portable, light, easy to adjust, and it doesn't make a massive mess when you're grinding coffee into the lower chamber. Espresso lovers like me are used to wiping down counters with coffee grinds all over them, but the Hario hand grinder has a different chamber, so you don't get any of that mess. Very important, avoid blade grinders. Even expensive ones will have this big problem of cutting really fine parts and also really big boulders of coffee, which will result in a very uneven extraction. It's much better to get a flat or a conical burr grinder. If your friend is just getting into speciality coffee, but they're a super busy person with no time in the morning to fuss, it's worth getting something that doesn't require full-time attention and won't end up giving them an undrinkable coffee that they'll have to throw away and leave for work in the morning sans caffeine. I have absolutely no qualms about recommending a mocha pot. This is a beautiful device that Italians use to drink espresso-like beverages at home. It has a deep and rich flavor that I personally love and it doesn't require very much in the way of cleanup or maintenance. You can just put it on the stove while you go and make your toast or get dressed or something and as long as you take it off once you hear that sputtering sound, you're golden. You can also buy someone a really nice coffee cup. Everyone likes a nice coffee cup, especially if you know what kind of coffee they like to drink. If they have an espresso machine and they like making lattes, you can buy them one of those professional latte art cups like the Loveramics and Not Neutral ones I've used in my videos before. If they exclusively drink espresso, you can buy them one of those nice thick walled small espresso cups. If they're into flat whites or cappuccinos, the Acme ones I used in previous videos are gorgeous. I'm gonna do another video about coffee cups soon, so if you wanna see whether they're worth the price, you should subscribe. If you have just a little bit more to spend and you're buying for someone who's super busy, I might even recommend a capsule maker like the Nespresso. I'm not a particularly big fan of capsule coffee makers, and even with the reusable pods that you can buy for them with your own coffee, because that kind of defeats the purpose of it. However, if you're buying a coffee maker for someone who just wants their caffeine in the morning with minimal fuss and doesn't really care about getting the best quality coffee, 
uh, I might have to recommend a capsule coffee machine. Espresso lovers, please don't hate me. Now, most real espresso machines are really expensive, but if you're not interested in making lattes and you just really like espresso, something like the Rock or the Flare Espresso Maker is a perfect choice. They're much more affordable, and while they don't have any power so you can't do steam for latte art, it is a really great choice for espresso lovers. I've gotten some really amazing results out of the Rock Espresso Maker just by preheating the brew chamber and getting the right grind size, and this is a really forgiving machine for beginners to espresso. If you're willing to spend a little bit more, you can get your friend an electric grinder, which is a really big step up from either a hand grinder or no grinder at all. Again, don't get a blade grinder, they're just not worth it for coffee at all. Now, if you know what kind of coffee your friend likes to make, then you can choose an appropriate grinder for their level. If they're doing French press or pour over, then something like a Brata Encore is a really good entry level grinder and it's not too expensive. Now, if they really like espresso, they need to be able to grind a little bit finer. So something like the Sete 270 or the WP grinder like I have, or a Brazza Vario is a much better choice at that level. Some of these do start into the more expensive range. If you're looking to splash out on someone who's really into espresso and especially milk-based espresso drinks like lattes and cappuccinos, it's really worth getting a prosumer level coffee machine. My first entry level espresso machine was the Barista Express and it was a really great machine for learning about dose and grind and tamp and all of the different settings that come with making a good espresso. It's an all-in-one machine too, so you don't need to worry about matching your espresso machine to the grinder and it comes with a tamp and a jug as well. Beyond this point, if the person you're buying for really loves espresso and milk-based drinks and they're eyeing a new machine and you're willing to spend thousands of pounds on them, then you should probably ask them what they want because I guarantee you they know. Like I said, espresso people are a picky bunch and I've already picked out my dream espresso setup. So I wouldn't want someone to just guess at something and get me something that I might not want. I hope this video was helpful in picking out what coffee gifts to get for people. Stick around for the outtakes and if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to see more. See you on the next one. <sighs> are my glasses like glinting? I think my glasses are glinting a lot. Let's move this over to... All right, that's how we do three point lighting. There's one over the... the, 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 the. This guy, and this guy, and this guy. Oh, That's like finding a friend who's really into music and just buying them any random album that you found in the CD store. CD store? How old are you? Ooh, there are no CD stores anymore, Charles. A nice professional latte art cup, like one of the Lumberlamics. I might even go for a capsule coffee thing. Oh God, I can't even say it. See you on the next one. See you on the next one. See you on the next one. Uh, why would I do that over and over? Ugh.